Sometimes I come across something I just have to show you. Um, a company recently called in trying to interview some .NET candidates we had, and they were walking us through the interview process that they're going to have. And traditionally, they had done um, in-person tech interviews with one of their staff, and they mentioned that they're changing it up. And they're going to use a site called Coding Game um, to do all of their tech evaluations. Now, this has a whole company side to it, but on the personal side, it was pretty cool. So I went and checked out. It's like, hey, what's Coding Game? Let's check this out. And you come in here, and there's these puzzles that you solve. And at first glance, you're thinking, well, I'm going to write a video game. How does that like really solve? But really what it is is the result is pre-programmed for you. You have to make the mechanics work inside these games. So it's not really game programming per se. It's really, really cool, classic coding challenges presented as a game. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And of course, I'm going to pick over here. There's a lot of them right off the bat. If you come here for the first time, I'm going to pick the power of Thor. So that seems pretty cool. And, um, and it talks about what you'll learn and the opportunities in here. I'm just going to go ahead and click solve it here. And I'll just show you kind of what how this works here. So it gives you a complete project here and with um, what you have to do and uh, pretty lengthy rules and things that you have to follow. But all of the coding challenges are really traditional coding challenges. It's just the presented as uh, the result is presented as a game to check to see if it worked or not. So let's um, let's do it. Let me code one of these up real quick for you and see kind of um, how we can do this. Now notice right away, I can pick the language I want. I don't, I don't have to do it in Python. I could pick Rust, Ruby, TypeScript, DD.net, something like that. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick JavaScript since most of us probably are familiar with that. And um, right here, it gives me the code and all I have to do is move Thor along this screen here and it doesn't show yet because we haven't written any code yet. But basically he's going to have a place where he has to power himself up where the light exists and Thor's going to be over here and he has to walk to the light. And so what we have right here is three or four parameters, light X and Y, and then the initial T X and Y is where Thor initially starts at. Now these will vary by test case, but let's code up an answer and let me show you how this works. And then you can come to coding game and get started and build your, um, build your own rep out here on the platform. Let's see if this kind of works here and we'll kind of fix it. And we'll show you how this works here. I'm going to play my first test case here. And um, so we got some errors in here. So let's look at it and see what they are. Oh, yeah. Got a problem here. It's meant to be a semicolon. Let's try that again. So you can see now Thor is moving towards his light power up here. And so this gamification of our algorithm is pretty neat. It's pretty cool. So boom, there it goes. And you can also walk this forwards and backwards here. So if I come over here, I can walk this forwards and backwards with a little scroll wheel on my mouse and I can see kind of the values that it went through. So I can play this other scenario here. And it's a straight up scenario. See kind of where Thor's going. I've worked in that scenario. Got the easy angle scenario here. Um, I will say that if you're doing this one at home, um, this tests the outer bounds of the array here. So the array is really from zero to 17 and seeing if you can detect the outer bounds. If you go outside of bounds of an array, you can throw an error and Thor dies. We don't want Thor to die. And then our final one is our optimal angle here, which again does the same thing here. It's testing this outer limit of 39 over here on the edge here. So, and we'll see kind of if in fact he finds it. It's 
pretty cool. And then um, once you've done it, you can play them all if you want. You just submit it and it'll compute your score here. See what you get see what I got here. See if it liked it, liked my version of Thor. And there you go. Cool, I've reached level two. And see how over here it's got this gamification where it tells you what level you get um, XP for each thing that you, you do. You also can here look for a job. Um, so right now I'm not interested in a job. You can share this on social media. Um, you can look at other people's solutions if you want to. Um, you can look at the details of what you submitted and replay each test. It's very complete. Uh, really, really cool here. All right, so you got a 100% score. And here is your code. You could actually send that right into the, if you refreshed it, just send it right back in there. Um, but a very complete, um, cool coding experience. And if we go back here, you can see there's tons of these out here um, in the easy level, um, also on the intermediate and advanced level. And I just bring this to your attention if one company's doing this, maybe you might see this. So maybe it's a good idea to go practice and you might have some fun. So anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.